Christmas dinner, but it doesn't have to be that way. Jill Sharp is here, LateKitchen.com. She's here with some relatively guilt-free dishes for the big meal. Jill, thanks a lot for joining us Thank here this morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And yes. we got to start with the Cousin cousin Eddie uh, Antler drink here. We what, do. What do, we do. Got? It's a uh, really nice Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Save the neck for me. I yes. Got you. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. So uh, classic Christmas um, beverage is eggnog. Mm -hmm. But eggnog actually has tons of fat in it. And mine here has 80% less fat than your classic store-bought eggnog. Okay. So here's how we're going to get the lower fat. What okay. I used in here is a fat-free half and half okay. so we still have a little bit of that creaminess but mm -hmm. without the calories mm -hmm. and then we have 1% um, milk you put that on the stove bring it to a little simmer and then what we're gonna do is take two egg yolks and temper the eggs which means you're gonna add a little bit of hot milk into the eggs whisk it around right. and then pour the eggs back in here and that's where we're at now we chilled okay. it down and then you know you like the the part of eggnog that kind of sticks to the back of your throat mm -hmm. well we're getting that by adding a little bit of vanilla instant fat free pudding oh, and so okay. it thickens it up a little bit but we're not putting the same amount as a wood for pudding obviously right. that would be a little too thick yeah. uh -huh. so you just whisk that around and then here we have uh, a little bit of cinnamon a pinch mm -hmm. of nutmeg yep. and you're ready to rock and roll you have your eggnog oh, ready to serve this. all right now this is the non-alcoholic version non-alcoholic passed along yes and mm -hmm. if you like alcohol in it you can use either brandy or rum and okay. actually brandy was the original alcohol they put in right. um, in Britain okay and the uh, they brought it over here and it was a lot cheaper actually to put rum okay. so that's why over here we're used to rum but okay. either okay. one is just fine I'm gonna give it a shot here mm. Let's go find your sister. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, we should probably move on to step two here, the mushrooms we're talking about. Okay, what do we got? so now we have um, a crab stuffed mushrooms. Yep. We're using Dungeness crab, which mm -hmm. is very northwest. Right. Um, and what we do is we just take button mushrooms. So Ooh, yeah. popping them, huh? Yeah. So okay. you can take it like this, and it's a quick just pop it out. It's as simple there as that. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you just write in there. Got so it, if you want to pop it. some of these out, got it. I'll get started in our stuffing. So this is Dungeness crab. Okay. And what we do is we just toss all these ingredients in here. We have a minced shallot, okay. some panko breadcrumbs. That's sure. going to help kind of bind it together. And a pinch of salt and pepper. Okay, okay. Some lemon zest, a little garlic. So all we right. have some really great flavors in here. Sure. A little ketchup for some sweetness. Oh, interesting. Okay. Dijon mustard. Oh, what? And then to keep it light, we're doing a light sour cream. Okay. We're doing a light cream cheese. This is at room temperature. Okay. And an olive oil mayonnaise. So it still has the nice flavor and velvety texture of mayonnaise. Right. But we're using olive oil, which is um, a much better option Heart for healthy, you. you bet. Heart healthy, yes. You got it, you got it. And then we have Parmesan cheese and a few herbs. So thyme and parsley. Wow. And basically all this gets mixed around nicely in here. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we just take it and stuff our mushrooms with it. Oh, okay. So you can yep, grab one of those. Okay, we will do. And get that, and finally we have to get a little bit of egg, and that's going to bind it all together, oh, so that okay. way you can see how it nicely just right. sits this on is, top. This is the final product, right? That here is the final. Yes, okay. absolutely, okay. absolutely. Right. Just brown it there. How, how long does this sit in the oven? So that's going to go in the oven at about 375, okay. and it's going to be in there for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Um, okay. Just till it's nice and brown. Sure. So okay. then here's what we do. We just take this. Here's okay. a spoon if you'd like to. Okay. How easy it can be. You just yep. take a little bit of our <laughs> filling. So easy. Even I could do it. Even you can do right, it. Right, right, right. Okay. It's just stuffed, and okay. you're ready to rock and roll. See, I wanted more. Okay. See? Less is more. Wait, okay. well, as much as you'd like. Okay. As it's much Christmas. as you'd like. Yeah. It is. It's Christmas, right? And and, it, and it's a little healthier, so you can mm -hmm. indulge a, a little, little more. Okay. There you go. Okay, right there. So you put that right. in there. You put a little bit of olive oil straight on top, right like that, oh, yeah. right before you're ready to cook. Some and then drizzling. a mixture of either mm -hmm. champagne, white wine, and then oh, okay. half water just to fill the bottom. And what's that doing? That's kind of so, coming up through yeah, there? Yeah, so that's going to flavor the actual mushroom mm. itself. Mm -hmm. The mushrooms actually really soak up all oh, the uh, li liquids in there. Uh -huh. So And it'll reduce a little bit, I imagine, in the temperature. It will. It will reduce up there, and so it acts as a really nice flavor for the whole dish. Oh, that sounds great. I'm going to yes. eat one of these real quick yes. while you explain what's up Absolutely. next. Absolutely. So then here mm. I have a spinach artichoke dip. Mm -hmm. And what I did is I took some um, chopped onions. We have that we use the low-fat um, olive oil mayonnaise once again Parmesan cheese because you can't have it without Parmesan cheese oh, yeah. but actually Parmesan cheese is a lower fat cheese than a lot of others out there right. so we're still doing well mm -hmm. and then we have artichoke dip I added a little basil to a little flavor enhancer okay. and then right on top I thought a great idea was to add some tomatoes mm -hmm. to get it kind of that Christmassy feel oh yeah add you the know a reduced green, fat cracker mm -hmm. and you have yourself a great spinach artichoke dip. Well you think about it that artichoke dip is everywhere people it buy is. the big jars from yes. large box stores which will go nameless here but this is a great way to kind of <laughs> Update it in a way 
so that it's a little more heart healthy for you. Right, and you know what? You can find this recipe on my website, thelakekitchen.com. We Great. have a whole how-to video on it. And you know, you're saving about 75% of the fat compared to what you'd get at, you know, in the containers at the store or whatnot, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So that's almost three sticks of butter you're right, saving. Right, right, right. <laughs> you just gotta think it through there. Yes. So thank you so much. Thank you so I've much. I've got a lot, of, lot to eat here. So yes, you do. Sure you the party <laughs> begins. <laughs> and all right, you can find Jill's recipes on Q13Fox.com. Click on the Mornings tab, scroll down to recipes. Lily, I'm gonna send it over to you. I'll make sure I save you some. You promise? All right, bring some back. Thank you.